Hey guys, what's up? It's JDogs here, and we are back for another episode of Feed the Beast here on the Feed the Beast Spiritcraft server. Well, Feed the Beast Monster, uh, just to clarify for you guys. But anyways, uh, we are back here, and I want to show off some things I've been doing. I've been kind of like doing just finishing touches to the base and clearing things up. Uh, one small note here, the capacitor bank stays at max charge. The only way that it goes down from max charge is if I decide to turn on the power sucking, uh, B stuff, I guess you could say down here. Uh, and this right here is mainly the thing that sucks up all the power. Uh, it just takes so much of it. Uh, I've been running redstone blocks through the mutagen thing for, that, uh, Adrian gave me. And that's not, uh, giving me too much, but it's doing decent. Uh, I've stored up some more of that, just killing some stuff, but I've been helping Wish out. And so I haven't gotten too much myself done. Why am I not going up here? Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is what I've been working on out here, just like finishing touches and stuff. And my original uh, idea was to have these paths in the middle here, like a pathway. But I've decided to use them to outline the area. And you can see that I've like dug out these little ponds here. I think they look pretty cool. I think they're nice. Uh, they make for a cool little entranceway here as far as all this goes. Uh, I've temporarily put in the grass, just bone milled the, the area here, and then took it out of the pathways. Uh, and the reason I did this is because now I'm going to go through, and I'm just kind of kind of showing you guys the process here, but now I'm going to go through, me and Wish, and we're going to bust out a lot of this grass and replace it with some of the flowers we have. Because, like, I have some of these cool flowers like this that are from uh, Biomes of Plenty. And then I have, like, my real special flower over here that we got from Smee a while back. No. Was that Smee? That was Smee or Born, one of the two. I think it was Smee. Uh, but that we got from them a while back. And then I've got pathways that lead all the way around here. And then kind of, uh, you know, blocked off these different areas. Uh, here I left it kind of open because we have the Twilight Portal here. So I just kind of left this section open o over here. And from up top, it almost kind of looks like a face. It's kind of funny. Um, but that's that's what it looks like from the overhead view. And I put a bunch of bone meal around the tree farm. There, I do realize that that's a lot of grass to be around that. So I do plan to take a lot of that out. Over here, I'm even thinking about putting some of these bushes that I did before. Um, but I'm just kind of showing you guys what I've been doing here and here I'm thinking like maybe fountains or something you know cool looking uh, I also want to put up something that I haven't done yet well we went down and I didn't mean to um, and that's something that I've had in the backpack here for a while and I want to go ahead and put them up but I don't really have a spot yet I guess you could say so I'm gonna put them with the other trophies I think over here for now and that is our Lich Trophy that we got. So that can go there. Well, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> Let's take that out of there. Uh, I forgot we've got those things on the wall. Uh, I wonder, is there anywhere else we could set these? I guess we could... Ooh, this is actually a good spot. Okay, so let's put them back on here. And then the Naga Trophies that we have can go on the walls. And then these Hydra Trophies can go, like, right there. I might even move the Hydra Trophies, but I think that looks kind of cool. Um, we could move them down, and so they'd be down there. The Hydra Trophies look better from up above, and from down below you can't really tell what they are. Um, but they look pretty decent. They're kind of cool. Um, but anyways, I want to go over Wishes On with me, and I want to show you guys what she's been working on as well. I haven't had a computer for yeah, she's been without a computer. Uh, you guys know the story that I told you about my computer, and so I'm currently using hers, which it, you guys can see the lag a little bit more in my computer, or in this computer, and that's just because it's it's not as good. It's uh, got like 6 gig of RAM instead of 8. It's got only two core processors instead of a quad core. So it's it's not as good, but it's definitely doing the job for me. Um, but I want to show you guys what Wish has been working on. She's finally got her area done over here. So I'm going to give you an overview real quick. Just kind of peek out the window here. So those are all her village houses. She's done her um, floating village on the water. And there's more back that way as you just kind of saw real quick. But we're going to walk through this way and then go around and end up the over on the other section. 
So the first thing you'll see is we got a bunch of fence gates here. And this is because the villagers were escaping because of the staircase here. They were getting out. Uh, they were hopping up on the logs, so we had to put slabs on those. But now they can't get out. Now they're pretty much trapped uh, in their little area here, and they're safe. So we've got one in each house, and each house is done up differently if you look at uh, how each one is done. So this one has larch wood stairs and pine wood slabs, and it's got like lime wood logs on the sides here. Uh, now, some of these I'm not quite sure. You can look around, like the one over there doesn't have um, the right names on them for some reasons. And you can see like here it says large stairs and it actually shows a different picture. And as we go around to some of these other ones, you're going to see the same thing where some of them are named different. Uh, these little black spots, I've mentioned them before. It's just because I don't have the fancy lighting on. But on a lot of these, I just kind of... Um, well, I helped her with this first one here just a little bit to kind of give her an idea of what I was uh, thinking of a lot, of a lot of these looking like. And then she went through, and originally she started doing, like, every house the same. And I was like, no, you, you, you really shouldn't do that. And, and I gave her some tips on how to switch up the planks and stuff. She picked out all the colors and different types of logs herself and planks and everything. Uh, and she also went through, and my, my other tip to her was to keep the roofs all the same. And so if you look up above here, you can actually see that it looks nice from up above as well as down below here. Uh, you can get in here and you can do your trades with your villagers. They love jumping around for some reason, but you can come in here and you can do your different trades with them. That, that's a pretty good one, coal for emeralds. Um, and you can do the different places up. But she came up with some pretty good designs. Uh, for some reason, we've noticed that the some of the villagers like to glitch through the floor uh, we're not sure why he's completely fine he's like right here but yeah he just bounces through the floor so that's part of what they d tend to do uh, again here we've got the dark spots but you know it says white wood stairs um, and this is jacaranda wood slabs and pine wood and she, yeah she did up I had her um, I told her I said well don't you know do the same exact design as everyone and you can see she's you know just changes up a few things here and there these are slabs instead of whole planks uh, and she d redoes the design on several of these which I think she did pretty good with uh, we lit up the place with these little glowstone nooks everywhere so that nothing would spawn uh, the bridge and everything pretty was pretty much her idea for the design and everything I just kind of lit, helped her helped her uh, figure out where each like path off would go so they wouldn't look too cluttered uh, but that was about all I did as far as that went Here's another spot you can see here. Um, and we tried to get also one of every villager when when we went and copied them. Uh, so like this one here is for Thomcraft. And I think we've got a, at least two of each type of villager. Uh, this guy here will trade birch barricades, which I'm not sure why, for tin or berry bushes. So that's a little bit of a... And his eyes are just weird. That's just goofy looking. But anyways... Um, there's a little bit of lag out here, but that's just due to computers and everything. Uh, here's another one here. Oh, yep, jump a leg. Poplar logs, larch stairs, and fir wood stairs. So you can see that's uh, just a little bit of a different color, but it actually still goes pretty well with the actual design. So anyways, I'm just going to kind of walk through here and show you guys each one through. Uh, oh yeah, this is uh, another one where it says the larch stairs for these but they're not actually larch they're a different type of wood so they're just nice little huts here where we put uh, a villager into each one and they came out really cool looking on, on most of them uh, some of them she did uh, like some test designs I guess you could say and they came out pretty cool um, Oh, another lag spike one of the ones I really liked was this one here it's got like a nice dark theme to it uh, she used the palm logs, and then she's got these ash logs, which they don't connect vertically. They, there's actually a gap in between on each side, but this way they connect. And so it, it gives it that nice look of um, that it still has a support to it. And I think it came out looking really cool. I like the look of that one. Uh, there's one over here that's jungle wood and redwood logs, which came out really nice. Uh, let's see. Over here we've got... Uh, white wood stairs, fir wood stairs, and apple wood, which I loved that apple wood that we, we were able to grow. Uh, the one villager over there actually gives uh, a trade for a sapling, which we're going to have to try out. The little Elvis dude, we got another one of him. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Now, his trade isn't the greatest. It's five emeralds for a jukebox. 
I don't think we're going to be using you anytime, dude, but you stay there and be cool. Um, this one came out nicely looking, too, with the ash logs. I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, she used the ability to where you could... <coughs> excuse me. She used the ability to where you could make all the sides look the same instead of uh, having the log look on the top and bottom. And that worked really well for a lot of this. So we're going to go over here. Oh, I closed that immediately. I am getting some lag. I'm getting some lag. Okay, so over here we have uh, the other side. She did this out of sky stone bricks and still has the uh, the soul glass over here, which is pretty cool. Did a uh, greenish colored looking door. I always like how you can walk into these and get that slowness. That's kind of cool. But this is, yeah, this is her what she calls her moon room or her sky room. Um, it's from the, uh, the, I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's... Um, the Celestial Kingdom, or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Um, the Celestial Biome thing, whatever. Anyways, it's got that going on up here. Over here we've got the Sky Stone, which you can do into bricks. Uh, the clouds, behind the behind the clouds, I had her do the... Um, what is it again, hon? Hon? Marble. Marble. Uh, up above here you can see that there's marble... Uh, behind the clouds, and I thought that gave it a nice texture for, um, you know, staying for the look of clouds, even though um, there was originally stone behind that, and so I think that looks pretty cool. Um, purified grass along the ground here. She's got mossy sky stone as well along the edges, and then rounded quartz on the sides here. Um, as we go down the hallway, she did pretty cool. Um, she did these celestial crystal nooks instead of the actual whole blocks for through here. So it's it, when you step back, it, it's, it's almost got like this blue highlight to it on the edges, which really looks kind of cool. Um, but she's got the sky stone again on the roof here, and then the fitted nisus uh, sky stone down here, and then the fitted basalt, and then oak wood, which is actually spruce wood. I don't know why it says oak wood all the time. And then this says large stairs, which they're actually maple. maple? They're walnut. maple. Walnut. That's what they are. These are actually walnut. So there is a couple glitches as far as what it says, you know, each thing is. But they're still um, really nice designs that she did through here. She's been working on this for quite some time. Um, and it took her a while to get it done. And, and I know it doesn't probably look like a ton of work, but she did really put a lot of work into this. And I think she did well with it. Um, and this here, she's all, all also been working on these hallways, this platform up here, which came out really nice looking, a nice overview like we had before, a little nighttime over overview for you guys. Um, the overlook of the ravine, uh, I told her that would be an awesome little thing to do here, so she kind of used the ravine and just naturally built into part of it, which I thought was really cool. Um, making these different areas and, and hallways and stuff took her some time and, and I think she did a good job on it. Ultimately this room never really got much use but that was because uh, she mainly used my machines. Uh, I think on the next mod pack she where we plan to have everybody living separate so she'll be able to do her own machines in a room like this and have her own little setup which I think will be good for her. Uh, some of the stuff just to finish up real quick um, I've actually had to record this second half of this from that village um, on to here and, and the end of this here a second time because my mic was buzzing real bad. But anyways, out this way, I've got this little entrance that looks like the rest of them, as you guys can see. And then I also did, here, we'll just fly over the top. Uh, over this way, you can see, yeah, she did she did her own on B-Team, too, and I, I think that helped her out a lot. Uh, over here, you can see I did another one for the little entrance way, so it matches everything. And then... In the center, since we did the last recording, I've actually grown a couple things. We have uh, some more of these little oak things here that you can see, these bushes. I put one down there. Uh, I added a couple over here. We did some of the flowers since the beginning that you saw. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty nice. I like the look of this. I think it, it looks really nicely. Uh, I'm hoping to do some more to it. I'm thinking like maybe some fountains or like little park areas where these two empty ones are. But uh, these are just finishing touches that we're doing on the place. So pretty soon, we're going to be resetting. Uh, I do plan on doing like a server tour of everybody's bases and kind of showing them off. 
So if you guys like the idea of that, be sure to leave your comments and suggestions and criticism and all that stuff down below. And as always, if you like these episodes, if you like seeing uh, all the stuff that we're doing, wrapping the server up, be sure to leave it a like. It lets me know you guys enjoy this series and you guys enjoy the mod packs. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep. Nope, because it's I'll just me. It's all right. Uh, we'll get that done afterwards. And, oh, now he's sleeping. Okay, I'll go sleep. Boop, there we go. Anyways, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like on it. And as always, be sure you subscribe. I put up new videos every day of the week. There we go. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Feed the Beast Monster here on the Feed the Beast server. Take it easy. Peace out.